Hello children, welcome to Kissy Story World. Today we are going to read Topsy and Tim at the farm. Topsy and Tim and Mommy were on their way to Rosemary Farm. They were going to see Mommy's friend, Mr. Stuart, the farmer's wife. May we help on the farm? asked Topsy. Mrs. Stewart gave them two eggs boxes. Go along to the hen house, she said, and choose 12 nice eggs from the hen's nest to take home. Some hens came to greet Topsy and Tim, and the duck quacked cheerfully. Topsy found some ducklings learning to swim in a little pond. A loud hissing noise startled Topsy and Tim. Four big angry looking geese were moving towards them. We'd better run into the hen's house, said Tim. The hen house felt safe, but it was very gloomy. Soon their eyes grew used to the dark and they could see plenty of eggs in the hen's nest. Topsy chose six big eggs to fill her box. Four were white and two were brown. The angry crees were on the path back to the farmer farmhouse, so Topsy and Tim could not go that way. They climbed the wall instead, being very careful with their eggs. Let's go back to the farmhouse this way, say Tim. Topsy and Tim were in the cow's meadow. They did not know which way to turn. Then they saw farmer's steward. I am about to take these cows to the milking sheds, said Farmer Stewart. Will you give me a hand? Topsy and Tim helped Farmer Stewart to take the cows to the milking sheds, although the cows knew the way themselves. Can we help milk the cows? asked Topsy and Tim. We will soon do th that with our machines. Thank you, said Farmer Stewart. I have got a special job for you, though if you would care to help. Farmer Stewart took a bucket of new milk. He led Topsy and Tim to a smaller shed. There was a baby calf in the shed. Poor thing, it wants this milk, said Farmer Stewart. But it can't, can't drink. It only knows how to suck. Put your eggs down somewhere and then you can teach the calf how to drink from the bucket. Farmer Stewart showed Topsy what to do. She dipped her fingers in the milk. Then she let the calf suck her milky finger. The calf sucked so hard that Topsy felt nervous. Don't worry. It don't bite, said Farmer Stewart. Next, Topsy put her hand into the buckets. The calf went on sucking Topsy's finger until her hand and its nose were both in the warm milk. Then it was Tim's turn to feed the calf. The calf soon discovered how to drink from the bucket without any help. Topsy and Tim ran back to the farmhouse to tell mommy all about it. It was time for Topsy and Tim to go home. As they walked down the lane, they heard a tractor behind them. It was Farmer Stuart. Here are the eggs for eggs you forgot, he said. And here is a big carton of cream for you, for your tea. Because you were so good and helpful at the farm. Now, so the end. 
This is the end of the story, children. If you want to hear more story, please subscribe and share my channel. Bye-bye.